Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one-take property tours. It is the most outstanding view. I am in Tuscany. Over there, there is a beautiful town called Monturkey. Over there, there is a castle and a beautiful village called Lipiano. Further afield, there's a town which is absolutely stunning called Monte Santa Maria Tiberina, or as I like to call it, a long way to Tiberina because it's a long way up. Today's tour is a 17th century manor house, Italian manor house, with a barn, with a guest house, and with 30 hectares of land and 350 odd olive trees. We are today 30 minutes from Arezzo and about 90 minutes from Florence in Tuscany. And this Italian property has its own concert hall. Yes, <laughs> yes it does. And it is, well, I mean, you're gonna see it right now. I think it's beautiful for anybody who wants a substantial house in Tuscany with the most beautiful views. Are you ready? Let's go. Right, the first thing I'm going to show you is the vista. And really, what can I say? It's a bit of a hazy day. The sun is out. And I don't know in the distance whether you can see Monturkey. I actually know that you can see the beginning of the Apennines further afield over the last hill. Uh, it really is just an absolute beautiful, beautiful view. There is nothing that you can say that's ugly. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. And we're just going to pull round into the sunlight with this beautiful tree. And as you know, I love trees. And then we are going to see the main house. Gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, there is so much to do today. Um, and I'm just going to pull around as we walk back to the property so that you can see the guest house as well. And that is a one bedroom guest house. It would be a perfect Airbnb. Uh, it's, just, it's just wonderful. Right. Now, coming forward into the main entrance and we are going to go up into the hallway. This house has an alarm and it also has uh, CCTV as well. I don't think you need it personally. I don't know why, but right, we're not going to go in the hallway. First of all, I'm going to show you this. <laughs> Starting with a cloakroom. And that is going to service the swimming pool. You've got a very nice sink, uh, a bidet, and a toilet with the toilet seat down, as it should. Right, I hope you're going to enjoy this. This is just such a beautiful house. Handle and one very nice brass knocker. So in we come. Now this property was built in the 1700s and it is filled with yummy furniture. I can see uh, it's a very nice pewter plates. I don't know why one uses those anymore. And we come through the hallway and into a reception room. Oh, really? Oh, look at this room. Oh, isn't that stunningly beautiful? 
it's absolutely gorgeous. Now we've got so much to do, but first of all, I'm going to show you the master bedroom and bathroom en suite. It is the majority of it, and there are some new parts as well, but if I can just show you the openings. Can you see that? Look at this stone. And all these doors, and I'm going to show you another one in a second, are all original hand cut and they are almost 400 years old. Now there's seven bedrooms in total. There's a little bit of haze on the windows because all the windows have fly screens. This room has a wooden parquet flooring and that's quite nice when you're in your bedroom. And then coming through this curtain, you come into a lovely master bedroom suite. Now, just on the other curtain on the other side, you've got a door leading out into the hallway, but I'm just gonna show you this bath, roll top. Yeah, done in a traditional style. And as we come round, we have a big sink and a toilet and a bidet and a shower. Look at the light as we come back through. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Really is gorgeous. I pull back and I give you the reverse. And then we come back out into what is one of four reception rooms. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The doors and the door opening and everything about it is just charming. Now, the lady of the house uses this room as her study and dressing room and on the right hand side you have just a huge wall of built-in closets. Lovely isn't it? Charming. I just think it's beautiful. Oh. I mean look at the floors have come down now, I don't think these are original. Um, I think they're a later addition. If I get a little bit further down, you'll see them. Um, but they are just lovely. Look at that. Lovely fireplace. Oh, it just has so much character and charm and yumminess. <laughs> it really does. It's a big room, this. I, I just can't believe the stonework, actually. I just find it... You know, I'm almost lost for words. I just think it's just absolutely beautiful. Now you might, as we go past round, um, think about, well, you know, changing the house so that it fits your criteria. But here is another study. It could potentially be another bedroom if you wanted to. Yeah, you can never have enough books. <laughs> Just more books, the better. And this is what I wanted to show you as we come back. Look at that. Seventeen thirty one. Quite incredible, isn't it? 
really is just quite incredible. Now, <clears throat> we're going to go back over the reception room and then through this door here. And this door, in my view, is probably the best in the house. The patina here. Yeah, 400 years of well, hands. <laughs> hands, but I just want to see whether I can get close enough so you can really... Can you see that door? Uh, it's a work of art. It really is just stunningly beautiful. Right, we're going to go into kitchen number one. And this was built um, and installed a few years ago. It has an Ilvi double cooker and a Smeg extractor fan and a ticking clock. I don't know whether you would want to change that. You know, nowadays I think a lot of people, what they do is that they just change the uh, front doors, they keep the carcass and then they spruce that up. It's totally up to you. Big cast iron radiators, absolutely everywhere. Right, down we go. Now we're going to go into what would have been a cantina or a manger. And uh, the reason I know that is that the manger is still there. And this is the formal dining room. And what a lovely room this is as well. It's a little orange because basically the camera is set for uh, a mid-tone of inside and outside light. But I'm going to pull down and show you the flooring. I think that's important. And I'm going to step back. And then we're going to do the reverse of the other manger. Yeah, you would have had a horse in here. It's beautiful. Original. And look at the arch. Look at this. It's stunning, isn't it? Right, we've got a lot to do. I think what we're going to do is go outside <clears throat> and then we're going to pop back in. I've just popped down to the side of the house and I've come in through an entrance door, which probably would have been another cantina and we are going to go into the music room. To the right of me, there is a incredibly large laundry room. And I just don't know whether we've got time to show that today. Now, the owner teaches music and this is the music room, but I've come in here because I want to show you beautiful pictures. I can see a little bit of salt infiltration on the walls there, but that can easily be treated. If I lift this up here and I open <laughs> and then we're going to go in. I mean, I don't know about you, but I haven't been in very many houses recently that has its own concert hall. Oh. Yeah, it's amazing. I need to get down. Well, we need to get down. Okay, I've just come back out of the music room and then we are going to go into the concert hall. And as we come in, and then we look down, you've got the staircase. Oh, that door is not open. Maybe I should have opened that. Oh, silly me, Nick. Anyway, not to worry. Beautiful colour on the side of the walls. And I do want to get down here because there's a couple of things which I want to show you.
Oh, incredible, isn't it? Look at the light. Oh, it really is. Now, the first thing I want to show you is basically the bedrock. And uh, I've mentioned this on many of my videos. And basically, if you see that on a building, you know you're absolutely fine. As sound as a pound, as they say in the UK, because basically you would have built your house on bedrock and not on earth or with a foundation. That's what they would have done. And as we come forward into the concert hall, and I expect the acoustics here are just going to be amazing. And the other thing I want to show you is if I lift up, you will be able to see two windows coming into view now. And I think personally that at some stage that used to be the outside wall. And I'm talking, well, you know, probably over 500 years ago, there would have been something here. And the reason that I know that is that if we come down and I'm going to push the camera over the grand piano, I look at that opening. Oh. Yep. Beautiful. I know it might be difficult for you to get your bearings, but what I've done is that I've come back into the entrance hall. There's a grandfather clock and we are going to go up onto the second floor. Now the second floor has, if I remember correctly, five bedrooms. Ah, up we go. And I'm just going to go into bedroom number one. Uh, this house has had a new roof. Oop. And then I can see parquet flooring and a bathroom en suite. It's done in a, probably done in the 80s. And it has all the things that you would expect. There is a door which leads into another room. And we're going to get to that a little bit later. Just going to pull across here. And then we're going to go out into reception room number two. Great big room, high ceilings, and you have one, two, three, four bedrooms on this level, and then a bathroom as well. The ceiling height here is a little low, but where the utilities are, they are all absolutely fine. And the ceiling height is about two meters, 60, two meters, 70. Bath, shower, bidet and toilet. I think this was restored at obviously a later stage. I can tell just basically by the stonework, but you've got lots of space for kids. Look at the size of that beam, <laughs> it's huge. Here you've got a double bedroom. Again, parquet flooring. Nice big space. Yeah, if you had teenage children or you had friends and family come and stay, um, this is almost like a unique apartment because basically it does have a kitchen, which I'm gonna show you in a second, and it does have uh, a very big living room and another master bedroom. But these rooms would be perfect for 
teenagers and children. <laughs> Bedroom number four, it's a single. So it really is a mix and match of years and styles and <clears throat> all kinds of things. Now there is an external door which leads directly outside and I think that's the door that we're going to go out of in a minute and then I'm going to come around and we're going to pop into um, <clears throat> the guest house. So big kitchen, hob, dishwasher, Standalone fridge in the corner. And then we come into what is the living room and it is really a lovely room. Just gonna pull in here. Yeah, completely self-contained. Absolutely. Oh, and a cat. Meow. Morning press cat. Fireplace, but it doesn't look like it's working. It looks like it's being blocked off. And then finally, if we turn around and go through this jolly nice door, you're presented with a lovely master bedroom with wooden beams and a very traditional bed. Now, at the beginning, when we came up the stairs, I showed you a door um, in the bathroom and that door is just behind that curtain and that leads into that room, which is quite handy. But this also has a bathroom ensuite. Okay, very simple. You've got all the things which you would expect and a heated towel well. Now I've just come out of the door from the living room where we were before with the bedroom. And I'm gonna come down some steps because I think what we're doing now is that we're going to go and have a look at the guest house. Oh, what a view. How can you imagine this in the summer? Oh, I can just see Montoni now very clear in the distance. I hope you can see that. Right, we're going to walk down. So this is a stone built guest house. It's been pointed on the outside at some stage and I can see some ties across the house, which is a very good sign. So let's go. Now, a few years ago, this was rented on Airbnb um, and then they stopped doing the rentals but you have a new bathroom and shower you have wooden beams you have the original terracotta ceilings you have spotlights And then you have a really lovely, as the camera adjusts, bedroom and a very nice piece of furniture, actually. Yeah, that looks early Victorian to me. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm. Yeah, there might be a deal to be done there. Wartime bed. Again, original woodwork above. I mean, it's not huge, but it's absolutely beautifully formed. 
And then as we come up, we have a staircase. Let's see if we get up here quite quickly. We come up the stairs to another kitchen. I don't know if it has a dishwasher. I'm just gonna find out right now. But it has a hob, a cooker, extractor fan. And what's that? Yes. A dishwasher and then you've got an open plan living room oh, you'd be perfectly happy wouldn't you you really would this house has its own central heating system and there is also a central heating system for upstairs as well as downstairs on the main house as well and you've got 30 hectares i mean really right i'm, I'm gonna get out here because i want to show you the side view of the property because i think it's just gorgeous let's get over here Oop. oh Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if we can get out of this. No, I can't really. Look at that. Now it's hazy in the back because the sun is in our view, but um, you're just surrounded by green and countryside. Now the barn over there is a wood storage, but with a granted planning application, there was a good possibility that you could turn that into additional accommodation. Okay, I'm just standing. I've walked up. Can you see the house in the distance? Uh, it must be 50 meters away. And I'm gonna come across and just pull around because the swimming pool is on the right hand side. And personally, I think that's time of day that's south facing. And here you have a beautiful swimming pool surrounded by your own olives and there are fields of olives which are above I'm just going to go down and show you that it's got the cover on it and i can see a, a springboard at the end so there must be a deep end now those chairs have been laid on the floor like that so they don't blow over if there is a storm I'll show you this view from here. I don't know whether you can see it though. I can see vines and I can see masses of olives and I do see another house in the distance, but it's a long way away. Oh, really. Tuscany, beautiful. So here we are in your very own concert hall. <clears throat> Let's have a little bit of a recap, shall we? 30 hectares that is a lot of land uh, it, it, just absolutely wonderful the main building here 650 square meters you've got a barn which is directly opposite could be converted with a, a acceptable planning application you have the other building which is on the other side that's about 80 square meters self-contained one bedroom apartment or house You've got a big swimming pool, 12 meters by six meters, with a diving board in the end, in the middle of the countryside, surrounded by cypress trees and olives. 30 minutes from Arezzo. I know it needs potentially some updating. Oh, I've seen a fantastic opening there. Yes, I am right. Yes, Nick. Uh, this, that is a later addition and that in my view is five six maybe even seven hundred years old it's got a lot going for it and the price the price of this property on the market today is one million two hundred and fifty thousand euros and if you're looking for a big house, 
to have friends and family and your own concert hall for everybody to come to enjoy, this might be the one. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian one take property tours. I say it every week and it's absolutely true for all of you who have subscribed to this channel. I cannot thank you enough and here is a big hug. If you have not subscribed to this channel, would you be so kind and just push those buttons? And that would help me so I can help you. Until the next tour, I'll see you very soon. Take care. Ciao.